everyone, uh, to Anjali, uh, her father, Mr. Anthony, to Dr. Santosh George, all the guests who are seated here. It's indeed a real pleasure to be standing here and to talk about the book written by a student. Because uh, as a teacher, uh, I, find it, I find it every year, as every year passes, the number of students who read are growing very less, decreasing. As the years pass, the number of students who read, I don't know what they do. They sometimes work in terms of images or movies, but the people who read, their numbers are dwindling, unfortunately. So it's indeed a great privilege when a student of English literature decides to pen down her thoughts and then gets it published. So translating heart, uh, and my words do come from my heart, Anjali, because I remember her as a student doing her undergraduate program, and she'd come to me wanting to do a project. And I think uh, she had some uh, idea of doing a project on uh, some UK-based writer or US-based writer. And I told Anjali, you come from Fort Cochin, Anjali, so you should write about that magical space that you come from every day. And the bus that you take brings you from a magical world to a world of reality, I guess. And uh, I think uh, that started off Anjali and her investigation into the hetero spaces of Port Cochin. And I'm so glad that for her UG and for her PG and now her, for her PhD, she is doing Fort Cochin, investigating Fort Cochin as a space. And uh, you know, each time you come to Fort Cochin and you walk through the streets, you pass through several lands, through several lifetimes, through several periods. And that is why I have been fascinated with this place. And Translating Heart, I think, is a wonderful title because the images, the colors, the music, everything is felt in the heart and she's translated all that into words. And that actually comes into us as well. And we share the impact that these multiple things have had on her psyche. I'm so glad about this title, Anjali, and I'm so privileged to be standing here holding your book and talking about it. And I'll just read about a couple of sentences from this book. Uh, it's a, a collection of poems, a collection of random thoughts, her experiences in France, and her you know, travels on the KSRTC bus, and <laughs> everything that she has done in her youth, I guess. And perhaps the next time a book comes out from Anjali, the world she sees will be different, because no one person can read the same book, just like you cannot step into the same river twice. So this is youthfulness. This is, uh, you know, the sheer, uh, what do I say, the exuberance, the excitement of being young. I see the tree, its leaves, brown branches, branching out against the night sky. I hear the birds. I wonder what they're talking to themselves. The waves, they are gentle tonight. Somewhere, crackers are being burst. A dry leaf just fell to the ground. The sand is smooth like velvet. I felt it with my feet. It's cathartic. So that's how the book goes. Um, I hope all of you read this book. And Anjali, the next time you publish, I want it to be a really in-depth study about Fort Cochin. Because you know we often talk about uh, popularizing Fort Cochin as a tourist place. But when you really look into the literature about this place, there is no authenticated or authorized uh, historical discourse about Fort Cochin. And I think perhaps you will be the person to do it. All the best to you, Anjali, and for all your future ventures. Thank you very much. <laughs>